Folks, this has to be one of the first in recent memory. Two software updates dropping at the same time for our Tesla cars here in Australia. 2020.20.12 and 2020.20.13. This is National Tesla The Gong. Let's do this. It is that latter update, 2020.13, that we are really interested in because now our Teslas will stop for traffic lights. We get this before England and it's nice not to be last in the Tesla software update cycle. A massive thank you goes out to Pete and Sammy from Sydney for letting me drive and film in their long-range Raven Model X. Another shout out to my fellow YouTubers, Sid Evie, Test Australia and Ludicrous Feed who have demonstrated the same in their Tesla Model 3s. A link to their video is in the description as well as on the top right corner. Trash bins are now recognized as was in the previous update but importantly, people now move with an animated gesture as opposed to stick figures sliding along. And here is one more example of the same. These red lights, which are a fair distance away, are perfectly rendered and you can see them change green in near real time. This is totally lit. I was really surprised to see that the parking spot on the opposite side of the road was perfectly recognized and rendered. And as we inched towards this set of traffic lights, I saw this message pop up. Stopping for traffic control in 25 meters, use accelerator or cruise stock to continue. And as the car inched towards the stop line, which is rendered as a red line on the screen, the car slowed down. And in this instance, I pressed on the accelerator to override and move the car across. This works with both traffic aware cruise control as well as autopilot. So how do you turn this on? Under your autopilot settings, you must have a new tab. You click on that and you'll get a beta warning. So now when the car is in auto steer or in traffic aware cruise control, it will respond to all traffic lights immaterial of whether they're off, they're on, they are in amber, green or red. Now I think that this intervention is very important because it teaches the car what a human being would do. And then the autopilot team will go back and analyze it and reject it if it is a bad decision by the human or if it's a good decision by the human, they will endorse it and program it into the system. It is really cool that the car is able to learn on the fly. So you see that the car says it'll stop in 25 meters. I pulled on the autopilot stock, that red line vanishes and the car moves forward across this set of traffic lights. The cool part is it immediately recognized there are another set of traffic lights coming in 200 meters and it just repeats the process again. Now do remember that this feature is in beta, so be absolutely careful when using this. Right, I'm sure most of you have a very important question. What happens if that green light suddenly turns red after you intervene and say it's okay to go forward? Well, hardware 3.0 immediately recognizes the red light and stops the car before the traffic line. Folks, I want to draw your attention to the lane markings. See the way they're rendered. Oh my God, I am so blown away because my 2018 Hardware 2.5 Model X will not do this. Now this next message definitely caught me by surprise. What is that symbol there? It says stopping for traffic control in 200 meters. Instead of seeing a traffic light, we see a roundabout symbol. And lo and behold, in 100 meters, there is a roundabout. I am really, really impressed by the way hardware 3.0 renders these things. Well, having seen this, I had to try it. I saw that red line saying that the car was going to stop. I intervened by pulling the cruise control stock and the car entered into the roundabout without a problem. But then I did not trust the car to make this turn. So I took over at this point. Elon Musk in a recent tweet said, roundabouts are easy. I guess he underestimated the treacherous Aussie roundabouts. Here you can see the car coming to a perfect halt for a red light. Now for some close-up footage of the dashboard screen showing you multiple scenarios of what the car sees. 
recognizes, renders, and reacts to, including T-junctions, stop signs on boards, cones, dustbins, and roundabouts. Guys, if you like what I'm doing, please do consider subscribing to my channel and click on that bell icon so that you can get a notification of my new videos as soon as they drop. Now that's all folks, thank you very much for watching, but before you go, a couple of housekeeping tips. You know that I'm hiring out my Tesla Model 3 via ev.com.au for more people to try a Tesla before they buy it to see if it'll fit their household and their workflow. If this is something that you're interested in, please do check the description of this video for more details. As promised, my next bushwalk video will drop on my channel within this week, so look out for that. You guys gave me a fantastic response for my previous bushwalk video to Jump Rock Macquarie Pass. Thank you guys very much for that. Until we meet again, this is Tesla and the Gong signing off. Peace.